Chris Shufflin here in the Wyoming Valley Clutch. Uh, Chris, talk about that community involvement, what you and Dave did from the very beginning. Um, it gets contagious, and, and people love their clutch. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was just something that we started four years ago. We had this uh, vision of just bringing back to the community, helping you know young athletes and, and everybody involved to uh, just a, a better future. Um, we feel as you know, this area doesn't get enough recognition for the, the athletes that are around here, um, and we wanted to be able just to provide you know some type of um, you know future for them. Pick up basketball. I mean, I was talking to Dave. You know, currently I see him at a game seven days a week almost, but back in the day, or maybe even still to this day, you're playing pickup basketball in all kind of leagues all over the area. Um, talk about the game for you, what it was like to just, you want to go play somewhere. Hey, it's, it's Tuesday night, I got a game at six, and Wednesday we're going to play up in that league at seven. Yeah, um, I mean, you know, my age now, John, it's a little different. Um, you know, trying to get around and play on all these leagues and, and just from what we built with this program, um, obviously I don't have that much time to do it, but um, even with the, the ABA, I mean, I think that is, you know, something we, um, you know, we took advantage of being able to be a part of. Um, and I think what, what it has done for the area is brought some type of professional basketball to the area, um, back to the area. Um, like it used to be. Um, so I think that was one of our main goals with that side of things, is just trying to bring back some type of uh, professional basketball that, so that these young kids in the area in, in Wyoming Valley get to witness, you know, maybe one day look up to or one day want to even play in that atmosphere. But uh, I think that was the ultimate goal of what we were trying to do. Playing with older guys like Dave and, and younger guys like Pete. You got guys from Scranton and from Wyoming Valley West and places like that. And Coach Rick Rhodes a part of this whole ride as well. Uh, what's it like to build those relationships over the last four years? Um, I mean, it's really been great. I mean, we really have guys of all ages, to be honest with you. Um, you got some really good young guys, and then you have a couple of our older folks that are a part of the program. But I think having Coach Rick Rhodes be a part of it all is what really molded everybody. Um, and I think that was the, one of the best decisions uh, Dave and I did was bringing him on board because... You know, the, the intensity and, and uh, environment that Coach Rick Road brings to the, to the, to the game um, just molded us together. Um, we created chemistry, we started to become a family, and over the last couple of years, it's built, and, and it was built to something that, you know, was above and beyond what Dave and I expected. Your own families, Dave's family, he's got seven kids, you have a family. You know, you get your extended family to come out to these games. It's fun still being that hometown hero, I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, just being able to still be able to play at my age in front of uh, people that have been watching me for the last 15, 20 years, I mean, it's a great, it's, it's just a great feeling. Um, you know, from every game, I believe, this season, there has been someone I spoke to after the game that has just watched, you know, watched me grow up, watched me play since I was, you know, in bitty basketball. So for them to able to still come out and see us play, I mean, it's just a great feeling. Well, it's great to see you guys doing great things for your community and still playing at a very high level for your age. Uh, the best of luck, Chris, this weekend. John, thank you.